Okay. So, hi. <laughs> um, I'm gonna weigh myself. I just want to prove to you guys there is nothing under the scale. <laughs> There's yeah. been some type of rumor that I fake this, fake it by leaning on stuff, but show them everything around. But I have nothing to lean on. Nothing to touch. And um, there's rumors that I put pencils under here, which I don't. What the fuck does that do? I don't freaking know. (laughs) So here we go. This always takes forever. All right, so here it is. So that was my true, honest weigh-in. Um, I feel like it's kind of bittersweet because, whoops, I haven't been doing the most greatest. Um, I definitely am going to be trying harder now and just doing, you know, the best I can. Um, I don't know. I feel like somewhere along the lines, I have fucked up like so bad and I just lost my motivation, lost my determination, just lost everything that was once me. If you guys go back and watch my videos from when I first started YouTube, I was so into like exercising and eating healthy and counting calories. And I know a lot of people think that counting calories, lighting, oh my God, think that counting calories is not like the greatest option. But for me, it worked and it does work. And that's just what I'm gonna do because it's my only option at this point. I feel like I'm just, I'm slowly dying if I don't do something about it now and I'm scared. Um, about a month ago when I got my new scale, I weighed myself and I was at the highest I've ever been and I feel like through all the puking and stuff that I've been going through in the last 24 hours, I know I'm probably down weight from my highest weight, but I still wanna share with you guys the highest I ever was and how much I weighed during that day as well. So we can kind of just see where I'm at from there. Okay, you guys. So here is the scale. Becky and I are both going to weigh in. She's going to show you guys my weight. So I am stepping on now. And how this one works is once this stops, that's how much you weigh, obviously. So. Or 88.6. I have done so good this week I have this is the best I've ever ate in my life I know a lot of you know I've lost 89 pounds prior and gained it all back plus more da, da, da. I didn't even eat this healthy then my highest weight overall which was recorded personally was in November of 2017 so it was just a couple months ago and that was at 497.0 I think it might have been December, but either way, it was like November, December area. On January 1st, I weighed in at 488.6. I ended up actually losing a little bit of weight through the December months, which was kind of shocking to me. I think a lot of it had to do with because I got the flu and I was puking. So I weighed in today at 480.4. And this was Amber Lynn for today. So this week was a lot harder for me. I went in a slump. My depression was horrible and I did. I caved in a little bit. I had a little bit of candy and I tried to justify it because I actually got these dark chocolate covered cherries and I was like, you know what? That's okay. It's a lot healthier. I usually want Reese's and I want this and that. And I will tell you there was one day of the week that I did binge. It was, it was pretty ugly. I ended up weighing myself the next day and I gained six pounds from just one binge. One binge. And I know it's a lot of water weight, a lot of sodium. It was really disgusting. I don't want to get into detail what I ate because I don't want to be triggered. I want this to be a new, fresh week. I want it to be exciting and happy and I want to be just really motivated to keep going. But yeah, I gained six pounds in one day and I was like, mm-mm. So I did allow myself to have a few dark chocolate covered cherries nightly, sorry, <laughs> nightly. Um, a few nights I did have a little bit more than a serving. And what I'm trying to do is figure out a way to where I don't feel so extremely restricted that I binge because I was doing amazing for I think a solid nine days and then I binged on my 10th day. That's not good, it's not healthy. So I need to figure out a way to where I allow myself to have these little things that I'm craving 
to where it's just like it's just subtle to where I'm eating these things just like a serving a night or something like that and that's why I got the frozen yasso yogurt tonight it's just so I have that you know I'm not gonna have it every night I'm just gonna have it sometimes but I we've stuck to cooking I've been cooking every meal I've been craving soda like a freak but even on my binging night I literally just drink water I'm trying to stick to water and another thing was the same night that I binged I started my period it was just a lot like a really big mess so last Monday I was 480.4 and I actually weighed in today at 479.4 Amberlynn is about to step on. Okay. So I am down a pound. I'm super excited about that. It could be way better next week. I am praying to the gods that it will be better. And I'm just going to keep pushing forward. So um, I really wanted 2018 to be a good year. And so far it has been. I know it's not even been a month yet. But... I feel like for me, I'm, I've been focusing a lot on like, um, why do I want to binge? What is the feelings that I am currently feeling before that? And, um, back in the day, binging didn't make me feel as guilty as it does now. So my thing for you guys is I did binge once this week again, but I want to say for me, and I'm not making excuses in the slightest, that I've only binged twice this month and it used to happen way more than that. Sometimes it would happen more than once a day. And I am proud, I'm just proud of myself even though, trust me, I feel guilty for binging because it's not me when I'm binging. Like Becky has been there when I binge and she tries to help me. And like I get mad. I got mad because obviously I don't drive. And I don't even know if this is something I want to be honest about. But it's like I just get very angry if I don't get my way during a binge. And I feel like I'm being possessed by somebody because it's not who I am. Um. So last Monday I was 479.4. And I weighed in today at 476.2. So that means I am down 3.2 this week. So even though I binged, I was able to still lose weight. And I'm just happy about that because I am going in the right direction. And that is what's important to me. Hey, guys. God. What's up? What's going on, everybody? This is our weight loss weigh in video for you guys stop my last time i weighed in was 476.2 and then i weighed in at 469.4 okay so this is amberlynn's uh weigh in for today when i weighed in at 469.4 i started crying remember yeah and i had becky hold me it was very emotional for me because i haven't been in the 460s in a while, um, last time I was in the 460s was when I was on Fentermine, which is a weight loss pill, but it was only for like a day. Like I was like in the 460s for like a day. And that's because I stopped taking Fentermine because it was giving me really high blood pressure. The doctor told me to like literally get off of it because it's just not good for you. So that means I've lost, um, since last time, 6.8 pounds. So that means in total I've lost 27.6. So I'm super excited about that. Welcome to our eight weigh-ins in one video i'm doing this because i had a really really bad week yeah me too i binged uh this last week probably four times um i overate every single day and i know exactly why i did it i have no excuses besides i'm here to be honest and say that i did do it and this week's weigh-in breaks my heart so that's why we're gonna weigh in daily with you guys for eight days i weighed 469.4 and i was so proud of that god here the water works um i don't want to make this long so let's just get right and straight to the point i weighed 469.4 i was super proud because i was finally in the 460s um i weighed in today at 482.2 here comes number lynn Okay. So 
So that means in one week I've gained 12.8 pounds and in total I've only lost 14.8. So, so yesterday I was 482.2 and today I was 480.0. Here we go for the second weigh-in. Okay. So that means in one day I'm down 2.2 pounds. I know the weight that I gained over the last week was a lot of sodium and like water retention. Hey guys, so this weigh-in was from February 8th. Becky and I both forgot to film a little clip for it. So Becky was 259.0. So that means it was another gain. Um, I also weighed in, which was also a gain at 484.6. I am devastated that I am allowing this to happen and it's neither of our faults and there will definitely be another way in so we can talk more about it. All right, you guys, it's February 15th. The last way in you got from us was on the 8th. Yeah, we um, haven't done too well the last probably two weeks. I don't, uh, we haven't dieted at all. I don't know what happened. So last time I weighed in again, February 8th, was 484.6, and today I weighed in at 487.6. Uh, I have a hard time getting on the scale. And that is what Amberlynn weighs as of today. So that's up three pounds. So technically this year I've only lost about a pound. See you next weigh-in. I weighed in at 491.0. This is Evelyn's weight for today. That is a 6.4 weight gain in the last month. Because last time we weighed in was February 15th and today is March 12th. It's almost a month ago. Yeah. We haven't been tracking. We've been eating out on the daily. Um, I eat candy on the nightly. Um... Bags of hot Cheetos, bags of Ruffles here, um, Chinese buffets there. Uh, what? What? It's buffet. Baby, I know. Buffet. Um, I weighed in at 494.0. So I'm about to weigh in for you guys, and a lot of people are saying, Amberlynn, like you're rigging the scale, you're putting, I think it's called like a tear or a tear. I don't really know. <laughs> I know it starts with a T. Something about how I'm like reading the scale because it's that type of scale, but I just want to prove to you guys the power is completely off and I am not going to edit this. I'm turning it on. I'm not doing any sort of settings at all. This is how it looked for Becky as well. And now I'm about to step on. I'm going to start weighing myself with my pants and stuff, but yeah, uh, let's just do this thing. <laughs> um... Is it? Yeah, I'm it like, finally stopped. I'm really shaky for some reason. It finally stopped. Okay, it did? Yeah. Okay. So that means I also gained, I think I gained three pounds. That's because I wasn't eating healthy. I was eating out. Um, I was struggling. I struggle really hard, like Becky said, when we go to her sister's house because I feel weird cooking in other people's houses. So I use that as an excuse. Oh, let's go out to eat. Last week, I weighed in at 490.6. Okay, hold on. There we go, that's yours. Which I was super happy about. That means I lost 3.4 pounds. 3.4 pounds, yay, round of applause. I wasn't trying i wasn't trying to be healthy it kind of just came off because i was trying just to eat less and i was trying to be more mindful of the quantities of food that i was putting in my mouth and i guess it kind of worked so to get to the weigh-in that happened today becky actually did not weigh in today no one cares she's not feeling the greatest which that's okay i mean you're gonna have weeks like that where something comes up or you're just not feeling good or something like that so she did not weigh in but my weigh-in today was 492.6. Okay, you guys, so 
it's just me today. I'll explain that in a minute, which you guys probably already know about. So I was wearing a maxi dress, so I'm just going to put the maxi dress on the scale. I want to see how much it weighs. 1.4. That is the reason why I take off my clothes. I mean, I'm still wearing underwear and pants right now, but that's okay. So that means I gained 2.0 pounds. I gained two pounds. And that's just that's just how it is. Um, I did a lot of binging, a lot of overeating, a lot of eating out. I don't think I cooked a single meal, maybe like a breakfast or something. I just did really, 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 really bad this week. The lowest I remember being in the last couple of years is 469. So if I got to 465, I would feel like, <laughs> got this, <laughs> like, so that is like my small goal. Last week I weighed in at 492.6, which put me up 2.0 pounds. Today I weighed in at 492.0. Okay, that's what Marilyn weighs for today. Keeps fluctuating. But. So that means I'm only down 0.6 pounds, which is totally understandable because even though I've been tracking my calories, I'm still going over. I'll start the day amazing. Um, I'll be doing everything great. And then at night, I'm just like possessed. I want to devour everything. A lot of people are saying I'm not eating enough for breakfast or lunch. That has nothing to do with overeating or my binge eating. It's all up here. Um, when I overeat or I binge, it's not even because I'm hungry. Like it has nothing to do with it because the way I eat when I'm trying to be healthy, I'm very satisfied all day long when it comes to actual like hunger. Um, so I want people to stop getting that confused. Binge eating has nothing to do with hunger. I like a thousand percent promise you. Whoo, that sun is a brat one today. So last week I weighed 492.0 and today I weighed 495.6. Okay. So that's a 3.6 gain and I know exactly what caused that. I have been drinking tons of water pretty much a gallon of water every single day and then I binge on top of it I'm I eat a whole family size bag of chips almost daily um I have pints of ice cream well I mean only one a day I can't I probably wouldn't be able to eat two a day I don't think so but I have a pint of ice cream on top of that and I am retaining so much water so my calorie limit on my fitness pal, they want me to eat 2,700. I think that's too high. I did the TDEE. Um, you guys can just look that up. That's mainly what people look at to find out how many calories they need to eat to maintain a weight. And then you subtract about 500 to 1,000 to lose weight. Um, on there, it says to maintain my weight, I need to eat a little bit over 4,000 calories a day, which makes a lot of sense to me. And so that means I subtract about 500 to 1,000, which would bring me at 3,500 or 3,000. And for me, I feel like that's still too much. Um, so I'm just gonna tell myself no eating over 2,200 calories. I feel like 2,200 calories is pretty sustainable, especially with how much um, I've been walking and stuff. I feel like there's a good balance with that because me doing 8,000 steps, that's me burning. Um, according to my Fitbit, this thing is very trustworthy. I love Fitbits. Um, it's about me burning 2,000 extra calories a day. So I'm burning almost a pound a day. I actually weighed in today at my highest weight that I've ever weighed in at. And it was 498.6. So I am 1.4 pounds away from 500. Um, so I almost feel like technically I'm 500 pounds. Um, Especially once I got some water in me, I already had my breakfast, I can go away and now and I'll probably be 500 pounds. So seeing that ter terrifies me, 100%. So um, welcome to my day one 
we're gonna do this I'm gonna keep myself accountable I think that's why you know the way in every day is very important um, and I will be logging that and just sitting here and talking with you guys and doing vlog style like I said so my weight today I've never weighed this much ever I'm I don't even want to say it out loud it's it's weird um, it seems too real when I say it out loud my weight today was 500.6 So that means I'm up, what, like almost three pounds from yesterday. I um, only got about four hours of sleep, ate horribly, didn't drink any water. So um, more than a handful of people just uh, messaged me and was like, have you given up? Are you just like done? And I'm not. I'm not done, you guys. Um, <laughs> I have done Weight Watchers quite a few times um, but Weight Watchers has changed the formula yet again and um, they have added more zero point foods I don't know Weight Watchers is a great 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 community of people who are just so welcoming and loving and the program works really well so I joined Weight Watchers last night um, I weighed in at 508.6 5 08.6 508.6 508.6 I wanted to give you guys a update on my weight today is my first day doing a Weight Watchers weigh-in so every Friday is my official weigh-in so hello it's Friday hi um, I started Weight Watchers on Sunday so this is just how much I lost in five days um, I'm in shock. I'm happy because I tried. There were nights I went to bed and I was like, oh my God, I hope I dream about food because I'm so hungry. It's true. Like my body is so accustomed, accustomed to eating thousands and thousands, like 4,000 to 6,000 calories a day and dropping that I'm gonna go to bed kind of hungry and I don't know going to bed kind of hungry is kind of it's kind of nice because you wake up proud so um I weighed in at 508.6 and today five days later this completely shocks me are you guys ready for it I had to stand on the scale quite a few times because I was like there's no way but it's true my scale is super reliable my scale is actually $300 I got it on sale for 150 or something like that so I always wanted the scale but spending $300 on it I was like uh. so when it was on sale I was like got it got it okay so I weighed in today at are you guys ready <laughs> 493.4 so I'm down 15.2 pounds you guys 15.2 pounds and I'm gonna blame it on you know water weight I'm gonna blame it on me swimming for three plus hours the other day but I'm also gonna blame it on the fact that I am following program okay so it's been a while <laughs> since I last talked to you guys I want to start talking more about my weight loss so if you guys are interested in that let me know I'm sure you guys are but it's just like I've been keeping it private. I'm doing really good. And that's why I'm keeping it private. Okay. So the I have like a note. I have a ton of notes that I wrote down. So I wouldn't forget what I was trying to say. So if you see me looking down, that is why. So I know that the last time I talked to you guys, I was on Weight Watchers. I was 593.6 pounds. And I had lost 15 pounds in five days. So much conspiracy whether I was lying or not. I was not lying. I was very, very, very shocked that I lost that much weight. Um, so with Weight Watchers, it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy. It was allowing me to weasel in a pint of ice cream. Um, I had McDonald's 20 piece nuggets twice in five days. 
Um, so it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy, which I wasn't liking, but I was still dropping the weight, which was crazy to me. Um, I was able to eat, as some people quoted, huge bowls of rice, and I was still able to lose weight. Um, it was just allowing me to be very free with my food, but for someone like me, it could be triggering. Um, after the weigh-in that I gave you guys, it was a Friday, and with Weight Watchers, you're allowed weekly points. I had about 40-something weekly points, and I was going to use them that Friday. I didn't use them the week before. I didn't want to because I thought it was going to sabotage my whole progress, so I didn't want to use them. But I was like, you know what, I just had my way in, I can just use my weekly points, which is allowed. This isn't like, I wasn't doing something bad. I was still doing the program. So I decided to go to Chinese food, and I was going to use the weekly points. Which is why they're there. It's for times when, you know, you're going on a date, or you're out with friends or something, and you want the food that you usually can't have, kind of. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to use my weekly points on this and everything's going to be fine. That's wrong. <laughs> it wasn't fine. Um, I could not stop eating for the next, like, five or six days. I just, I was off track, gaining weight, I was becoming swollen again, and I was completely off of track because of that one cheat meal. Which, when you're on Weight Watchers, when you use your weekly points, they tell you don't consider this like a cheat because you're still on the program. So it was just crazy. It was allowing me to eat so much food that was bad for me because fruits were zero points, veggies were zero points, eggs are zero points, ground turkey is zero points, chicken is zero points. Like, oh, like so many zero points. And it's like when you're trying to be healthy, if I was to eat fish and veggies all day long, I would have zero points. And then in my mind, as a binge eater and a food addict, I'd be like, okay, well I ate healthy all day, let's have a pint of ice cream. So it was just, it was frustrating. So after about five or six days, I actually gained 10 pounds. So I ended up getting 10 pounds of the 15 pounds back. I was, I was very upset and I was like, Honestly, F Weight Watchers, I, I can't do this anymore because it's allowing me to eat way too unhealthy and I couldn't figure out how to balance healthy with unhealthy while on this program. It was very hard for me. So when I said F Weight Watchers, I decided to go on a 1600 calorie restriction. Restriction is such a scary word, and it should be, but so is death. Death is also a scary word, and that's what's going to happen to me if I don't lose weight. And I notice some people, 1,600 calories is way too low. To other people, it's way too high. Um, 1,600 calories is reasonable. That's what a lot of people are put on, even when they are my weight. So I allowed myself 1,600 calories, but if I was to go over, I told myself do not go over 2,200, which is also very reasonable for, reasonable for someone my weight. So currently in this moment, I have no idea what my weight is, but I know I've gained weight. Um, I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow, so I might film that. I get a lot of backlash with my weight, but I mean, whatever. So I might film that and let you guys know how that is, but I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know the whole shabam and everything that I've been going through lately. Usually you guys know all about this already because for a while there I was doing like sort of like a daily weight loss thing but I don't know if people are actually truly interested in that. But there you guys go. That's what's going on with me right now. Um, it's just very eye-opening to see myself do two completely different um, weight loss journey plans programs and to see you know how both of them made me feel versus how both of them treated me I guess so but um oh god I weighed in I don't even want to say it I I feel like if I don't change now I'm never gonna change and I will reach 600 pounds for sure um, by the way, my, the last time I talked about my weight, I, um, accidentally said 593 and people like ran with it. I meant to say 493. I've never been 593. I'm about to tell you the highest that I am currently. So anyways, 
Um, so the other day, this was, God, how long ago? Yeah, I think it was the same day that my whole scary blood situation was happening. Um, I weighed myself that morning and I was, no, I weighed myself that night. Yeah, it was at nighttime. It was 514.4. That's the highest I've ever weighed. 514.4. And it was at night. So I was like, oh, it's okay. I probably just gained, you know, 10 pounds from all the food I ate today. So I was trying my hardest to be like, oh yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. Okay. So I weighed myself the next morning and I was 5'11". And I was like, wow, this is real. So last week when I weighed in, I was down like seven point something pounds, which I was super proud of. But see, the thing was, my goal was to lose another seven pounds. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do Weight Watchers and dee 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 doo doo. And I was actually going to follow plan. What made me lose the seven pounds before was like less binging, which I'm very, very proud of myself for. So this whole last week, I just did the exact same thing. I didn't even track on Weight Watchers. I'm very ashamed of myself. And um, I pretty much just binged less, which made it to where I gained, actually gained a pound. Um, I can look at that as two things. I completely, utterly, disgustingly failed. Or I can look at that as, Amberlynn, you gain 10 to 15 pounds a week if it were possible. And you've done it before. So maybe you kind of succeeded in a way. I don't really know how to look at it. I will say though, I failed when it comes to logging on Weight Watchers. I failed when it comes to losing the other seven pounds that I wanted to. But I feel like there are successes in me only getting a pound. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, that's disgusting, that's a fail. You're on your deathbed, you're bedridden, like you're disgusting, you can't breathe. Like I already know all this, I already, I already know all this is coming. Coming my way. <laughs> But um, I know myself more than anyone knows me. I'm with myself 24 seven. So for me, I feel like that is an accomplishment on itself. I'm not trying to make excuses. Um, so actually in a roundabout manner, let's just say that I failed. I messed up, I did bad. I could easily lose seven pounds in one week. I'm, I, I did horribly. I regret it. Um, I deserve to feel like crap. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys me stepping on the scale. And then while I'm on the scale, Becky's gonna show you that I'm not holding on to anything. And also the scale. Okay. Do you have a number? Yep. What is it? 525.4. Okay, and then show me. My hands are right here. <laughs> so that's my weight. Yesterday I weighed in for you guys at my heaviest. It was 525 point something. I had a great breakfast. Becky made us lunch. Uh, she made us chicken, blackened chicken and asparagus and a little bit of like mini potatoes on the side. It was fine, it was great. Like I was, there's an ant crawling on the window, like no. I was doing so good, I was happy, I was motivated, and then like everything came crashing down and I got horrible news, like to the point of insanity. So when I got the bad news, I just cried in bed for a while. When I stopped crying in bed, I, I kind of came to and I was like, I want Taco Bell. It was like this possessive, thing inside of me like there was no like stopping it i'm not gonna really get into the binge monster people don't understand that so i'm just not gonna go there right now but i ended up having taco bell and i had quite a bit of taco bell also like this like freeze slushy thing and in my head i kept saying well i did really good at the beginning of the day so i'm gonna weigh in and everything's still gonna be fine nope i weighed in and i gained weight i did not record it because i thought i was actually gonna be losing weight and i wanted to record probably in a few days of me losing a big chunk and show you guys. I wasn't just gonna show you guys every day so I didn't record it. And now I'm just like, kind of like appalled and mad. I'm emotionally drained and I'm just, oh my God. I did gain weight which, you know, I guess I'm not surprised. My starting weight 
exactly is 526.0. When is this gonna end? Hey guys! Okay, so I'm about to do a weigh-in, but I'm gonna be wearing clothes when I do it for you guys. So I'm gonna take off my clothes real quick. I'm gonna weigh my clothes, so then when I weigh myself with my clothes on, so I can get the weight and then subtract the weight of my clothes so I can get a real weight because I want to stand on the scale for you guys, but I don't wanna do that naked because yikes. So this is everything that I'm going to be wearing in the weigh-in, which weighs almost three pounds. So my clothes weigh almost three pounds, 2.8 pounds. Okay, you guys, stepping on the scale. Okay, 524.2. I'm gonna do a little calculation. 524.2 minus 2.8 for my clothes. So 521.4, heaviest was 526.0 minus 521.4 equals, I'm down 4.6 pounds. Woo! Congratulations. Thank y'all. My goals and plans for this week, I plan on paying attention to what I'm eating. And obviously I can't change overnight. You guys know I suffer with binge eating, which I do want to talk to you guys about. Because I was officially diagnosed with binge eating disorder by my therapist. Mm -hmm. So we are here for a weigh-in. Oh boy. So the last one that Becky and I did together was at the end of January, I'm pretty sure. At the end of January, I was crying in happy tears because I reached 469.4. 469.4 has been haunting me for the last two years. Yeah, it's been two years. That is the lowest I can get. Today, I weighed in at 532.0. Okay, 532.0. So in seven months, I have gained 62.6 pounds. Here is another weigh-in for you guys. So I promise that we will be doing these every single Monday. Do you promise as well? I promise. So how I did this week slash did I follow any of my goals? So I'm just gonna say that my goal was to pay attention to what I was eating, eat less. The first few days I was definitely eating less, but I wasn't paying attention to what I was eating. I was still allowing myself to have foods that are not good for me. And then towards the middle of the week, I was just like, like eating everything. Ooh, what was that sound? <laughs> I don't know. So for me, last week I was 532.0, right? Yeah. Yeah, 532.0. And today I was 531.4. So I was down 0.6. Yeah, that sounds about right. 531.4. I wanted to let you guys know that when I was doing those Monday weigh-ins, I the Monday after I uploaded my last one, I lost eight pounds in three days. I was doing really good and I was super proud of myself. I was feeling great. I was actually trying harder than normal. Um, I was still doing my 2,000 calories, but I was eating like better foods and I think I ate like 1,800 calories instead of 2,000. I was weighing myself every day and I was down, like it was like 8.4 in three days. I was like, girl, I'm getting it and super proud of myself and I don't remember what happened, but on day four, uh, I just completely fell off the wagon. I don't know what it was. I do suffer with binge eating. You guys know this. This is not a secret. This isn't easy for me. So since then, I have gained some weight. I haven't really been on track. There are days where I do great, and then there's days where I do really, really, really bad. There are days where my whole day is amazing, and then at night, I stuff down 5,000 calories in one sitting. About a week ago, I weighed in at 542.0, which is my highest weight ever recorded. And I know that I know I do this little bit all the time where I'm just like, oh, that was my highest weight. Da, da, da. It's stupid. I know, <laughs> like, I totally get it. It's dangerous. It's scary. It's sickening. It's it's just it's horrifying. But um, since that was like a week ago, I did weigh in today, and I'm down about four pounds. That isn't that much. I get that, but. I'm just glad that I'm no longer in the 540s, 542, highest weight, 
documented hopefully never again okay so what has been on my mind is the fact that i go back and forth with like weight loss programs one minute i'm like oh intuitive eating for the win next minute i'm like oh 1500 calories yes <coughs> do it boo boo and i'm just like so back and forth with everything and i have had my weight watchers subscription for months now and i don't use it and it's like why am i paying for something that i don't use so what i know is that weight watchers does work and it teaches you how to live a healthier lifestyle i'm done trying to Go back and forth and annoy you guys on diets so <laughs> i'm gonna be starting weight watchers again <laughs> i'm gonna be starting tomorrow i'm very annoying i know i don't need anyone to tell me that i want to do like a little weigh-in update so i have it written down in my notepad because it seems like i always forget <laughs> what i weighed plus today is tuesday and i weighed myself monday so last time i stepped on the scale i told you guys i was 545 which was on the 8th and on the 15th i weighed myself at 541.8 which means i was down 3.8 pounds whoop, whoop. so i'm super happy with that weight loss and i know you know i could have lost more but i also could have gained i think that as long as i'm losing weight weekly i am good to go i can't believe that i have gained 80 pounds since february <laughs> i have gained 80 pounds since february i just weighed in at 550 and that's the highest i've ever weighed someone asked me earlier on instagram do you ever watch your older videos and does it motivate you and i told them no it doesn't motivate me it just makes me really sad actually um i didn't really go in depth but it makes me sad it makes me feel ashamed and i am embarrassed i do feel like just oh i just feel horrible so i was watching videos from actually january of this year um how great I was doing and how much I've changed since since then. It's like, I can't breathe now. Like I can't walk far. I, I don't cook healthy meals like I was. And to the person who asked me, do watching older videos make you feel motivated? And when I said no, I meant it. But for the first time ever, I do feel motivated. I feel motivated to be that person again and i was in the 470s and i was losing weight i made it to 469 and now here i am 552.2 and thinking about the fact that i have to lose 53 pounds to even just be out of the 500s makes me feel defeated and like it's never gonna happen lexapro makes me feel numb and i wonder if that's a really big reason why this weight gain has been as it is because i felt numb to it and i felt like it didn't matter to me as much as it should and i feel like that's a really big thing i've noticed that lexapro just makes me not care i really want to look back on this and I hope I don't look back on it one day heavier than I am now wishing I was 552 pounds because I look back and I watch videos where I was like 480 pounds and I'm just like I wish I was that again it's so twisted it's just my reality right now my reality is I hate myself I hate what I've done to myself and I need to learn on loving myself enough to conquer this freaking crazy obstacle in my life like I'm gonna have to deal with this for the rest of my life for the rest of my life <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with this